the oh, oh, high side for the world championship leader, and that's a dangerous, dangerous place to be crashing. Please get out of the circuit. Look at all these riders. Oh, oh goodness me, goodness me, it's exactly what you don't want to see. Oh Bastion, no! He knows. He knew he's going to be absolutely gutted. Crest for that. Couldn't see who it was who made contact with Bastion in his bike. This is going to be a red flag. The red flag is out. That is a completely destroyed motorcycle. We saw that very, very close here one year ago with Remy Gardner and Alex Marquez, didn't we? A rider that high size lose the rear coming out of the first corner. That can happen. It was Bastion in that lost the rear. The red flag is out. That was horrific, and that is the problem with that corner. As you come out and you high side the bike in the middle of yeah. the circuit, because people can't see it because of the, the they're coming over the crest. And Bastianini oh, knew exactly what was coming. As soon as he got to his feet and knew he wasn't going to be hit himself, he was just like looking, going, "Please, please, no, nobody make contact with the bike." There is the red flag, then, Simon. Yeah, guys, I think uh, you can see over that crest. The problem is if you're slipstreaming someone else, you, then you, you just don't see. They dive out of the way, and then there's a bike on the floor in front of you. Edgar Pons was one of the riders that was caught up in that incident now on the number 57 machine. That's one of the Honda Team Major riders as well. So there's more than one rider that has been caught up in that incident involving Enea Bastianini. Horrific accident, that one. Really, really bad. I'm wondering, I think Hafi Siren was involved in that as well. I'm not sure if it was his bike. If, I'm not sure if it was him that hit Bastianini's stricken bike. But uh, no surprise to see the red flag. But now Bastianini's perfectly fine despite that. Yeah, he's going to be high devastated. Side. He's going to be absolutely mortified. The last thing that he wanted to do was cause a multi rider pilot like that. It's so easy to do when you're trying to squeeze that power on to get the drive out of that corner. You know, Bastianini was struggling for pace at that stage of race as well. He'd been passed by Betsecki and could see him getting away. He was under pressure from Kinnett as well, just perhaps a little bit too eager. There Look as at well. Hafi Siren's bike and Andy Isdahar's machine. Just the impact was scary. And now Bastianini bikes high side. I mean, point one, he does well to avoid not to get taken out. Then, unfortunately, a rider's going to clatter into an Aya Bastianini's bike. Yeah, and with, like, like Simon said, your vision's blocked. Look how close Remy Gardner is. He, He's not going to be able to see much of that. And then the riders behind can pick their way through. Roberts did so, Baldessari did. That 100%, all riders conscious. That's the best outcome you could possibly have because that... Look, you can it, see that, that that young man there just cannot believe what he's witnessing. He's just seeing riders crash into his fallen motorcycle. There's nothing Bastion he can do.
play. Oh, and there's the actual reason for the retirement. So that's why they're cutting off the uh, the inner suit there. It's because he's obviously been burned. And Chappie, that's rather brave to stay on board. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Ah, yep, slight, uh, slight technical issue there for Westy, and just forced to lay it down as flames burst out of the air. Uh... What happened in Thailand? Fantastic start then, look at oh, oh, a massive incident once again on the opening lap of the Supersport race. This is, oh, somebody's off, somebody is off on the exit of turn nine, so we've lost one of the... Australia and Thailand, and he got on the podium in Thailand. There he is in the background there, Nicky Tsuri on the exit of turn nine. Nick, drive Stonewall, Luca Myas is a very hard turn. Oh, oh no! Kyle Smith, he's out of the race again. What does he need to do to get a... So, <laughs> a bit crazy riding like that. Oh, oh and oh. another one gone. That's Kawagasuno and Keenan Safoglu, and he didn't... You see as he's rolling, he's protecting his right arm there, trying to not actually make the contact with the ground. So... Moving from the World Superbike Championship, to the uh, Super Sport 300 Championship. Yeah, and in this uh, in this class, the top speeds that we've been seeing so far this week. Stream there. Of course, these bikes are based on road bikes. Not much fairing there. Really have to do a lot of work to get tucked in. Doesn't get past Chris. Hopefully, that will help her. She's lost about half a here, and he said, "Yeah, we'll just continue to make changes." Oh, oh no! Down goes Kalinin. My goodness, the leader. Oh, just literally just ran off the edge of the tyre, looks like he, he just asked a little bit too much too early on the exit. It's Taylor on the right, there was indeed contact with Kimi Patova, so Patova the fin is out, Taylor disappeared out of the shot and appeared of Mika Perez, so we've got a Dutchman, oh down goes Schrottman, down goes Schrottman, Perez looking across to the right, so three now fighting for back of the group, but here's the crash, again just lost the front there, similar crash to the ones we saw. He's the man on the bubble right there, big man. Just that Whoa, right and he goes the down. Ground. Pretty similar crash there to Lowe's this morning. Just tipped it in into turn two. Lost. And then tipping it in. Yep, just lost the front there. The gravel. Here's Ryderberger. Ryderberger crashing slightly later in the corner than Krumenacker there. Yeah, so it looks like it was Jezek, Ryderberger, and uh, Krumenacker out on track together, and all three of them down. It's piling the pressure on Tom Sykes. Down goes Boris. I spoke too soon. He's not piling the pressure here today as well. That may have been a factor. Down he goes. Watch how the bike continues to run there. He's picked it up at 90 miles an hour. Oh, and Davis is down! Chad Davis loses it on the penultimate lap. And his leg is caught underneath the Ducati. And he ends up on the track which we last used in 2014 that was a big one that was a big big crash for Chaz Davis that's third gear the best part of 90 miles an hour